Hello everyone and warm welcome to this session. In this video, I am going to demonstrate you very simple and the popular spatial domain image enhancement methodology that it is power law transformation when implemented into the MATLAB environment. So here we have the MATLAB available. Now let us switch to the editor window for programming purpose. So I have the untitled script here. I maximize it and start with the MATLAB syntaxes close all then clear and CLC so that we can have fresh execution of our program. Now I'm just mentioning a comment line for what purpose this program is to be implemented. So I just mention here program to demonstrate the power law transformation. So for processing the image as per the power law transformation formula, we need one image in our MATLAB environment. So that is why we need to read the image from the current directory or current folder. So the first module, it will be to read the input image. So I generate a variable capital A with the MATLAB syntax I am read followed by a pair of parentheses inside which in a pair of single quotes, we need to specify the file name along with its type. So I'm just going to access coconut.bmp, the image data set that is available in our current folder. Now after reading this particular image, we will be proceeding further for formulation of the power law transformation. Before that, we will just save this particular program. Let us name it program underscore nine dot m will be the file extension and we will check whether we are successfully reading the image capital A variable in the workspace or not. So I just run this particular program. Now you see the workspace that it was initially empty. Now it has generated with variable capital A. The dimension of the image are 768 by 1024 and it has three bands and the data type is u int 8 here. Now getting back to the editor window to continue the programming. So here I start with the second module that it will be formulation of power law transformation. So according to the formulation of power law transformation, we need a variable, let us say it is G and it holds the value for this case 1.1 here. Now we are going to have the output image which is processed according to the power law transformation. I name it with the variable capital B and that I'm going to generate by the formulation of the type double for the input argument to be A which has holded the input image to the power capital G that we have with 1.1 value in the above syntax here. So this is what the simple formulation of power law transformation. Now according to this we will be obtaining the image in variable capital B. So now the last module is to display the input and output images. So for display purpose, I'm going to make the use of subplot where I will have one row, two columns and the first cell I'm going to access and thereupon I will make a display of the input image with the MATLAB syntax I am show where input argument is capital A here. The concern title I will specify there to be original image. By the second line, I will go for accessing the last cell of the subplot. So it will be one comma two comma two. Thereupon also I'm going to use the MATLAB syntax I am show. And as the capital B, the output image is in double data type. So that time we need to get it back to the event eight. That is why I need to convert the data type and then provide the input argument as capital B. So I provide the title here, the title within a pair of parentheses and inside a pair of 
single quotes i mentioned this is the image after power law transformation so this is what the simplest implementation of power law transformation to be processing for the grayscale image i save the changes i made to this particular script and run this particular program so initially in the workspace we had only one variable after reading the image by this syntax now we have the variable capital g to hold the value 1.1 that we have provided and the variable capital b to hold the output image here now here it is a separate matlab window of subplot i maximize this one so you see on the left hand side there it is the original image coconut.bmp whereas on the right hand side we have the image that is obtained after application of power law transformation so this is our output image and this is our input image you can clearly see the better visualization we can have after application of power law transformation to the original image coconut.bmp i just close this subplot if i change the input image instead of having the coconut.bmp if i write it to autumn.tif this image dataset is also available in our current directory here it is autumn.tif and here it is coconut.bmp i just save the changes and run the program now the variables are the same but the dimensions are different now you see the input image is stored into the variable a with dimensions 206 by 345 by 3 three bands are there red green and blue correspondingly whereas the output image is stored into the capital b with same dimensions but the data type double here so here we have a display of subplot i maximize this so this is what the original image and after application of power law transformation to the original image you see a better visualization as output or the resultant image so this was the simple demonstration of power law transformation which is a special domain image enhancement technique thank you